brothers and sisters, I myself don't think I've reached it. But I do this one thing. I forget about the things behind me and reach out for the things ahead of me. The goal I pursue is the prize of God's upward call in Christ Jesus. Here, Paul is uh, offering the reminder that the goal we we strive for is is a perfect love. A perfect love. Now, you've probably heard at least mom before say it, and probably others say it too, nobody's perfect. Or my favorite way of saying it is, nobody's perfect. The truth is, yeah, nobody really is perfect. It's That's something that if we have that expectation, we're going to be let down a lot. But John Wesley, not, not Paul, the author of the scripture, but John Wesley, the founder of the Methodist movement, uh, offered this. What if we believe that God could make us perfect in love? What if we believe that God could, could help us to achieve a kind of love that would match that of Jesus? It's the love that we want to have. It's the love that God wants us to have. But like Paul, we can, we can acknowledge the, the honest truth. I'm not quite there, right? And if, if at home you're thinking, well, I, I'm there, I think. My guess is we probably have some self-examination to do. We're, we're not perfect in our love. And it, when we think that we are loving really well, we probably could look and see that it's not always like Jesus would love. Again, like yesterday's devotional, it's not always easy, even though it's not that complex. So what do we do with this idea that we're not there yet, but we are striving toward it? The analogy I use is this. When I was a senior in high school, I I took advanced placement, AP English, and and uh, I took AP English because I wanted to be in the class with my, my then girlfriend, now now wife, uh, Stephanie. And and uh, I, w- I was in the class, and I, I didn't uh, well, I, I didn't really know as much as I thought I did. The the first paper I got back uh, had had one of those big uh, uh, rounded corner D's on it. I'd, I'd never gotten a D that I could recall in anything. Uh, except for maybe a spelling test or two. Uh, but here was this paper that I had worked on and thought that I did pretty well on and got a D. The next paper, I, I was bound and determined to do better, and I got a C plus. Now, we would call that improvement, right? Now, a C plus isn't where I wanted to be, but it was an improvement upon a D. What I was striving for was an A. But here's the reality. It took me almost the whole year to get an A on a paper. And quite honestly, it, it, it took having to study with Stephanie to make that, that possible. You see, I, I, I wasn't an A student in that class. I wanted to be. I desired to be. And, and even though the work I, wasn't putting, I was putting out wasn't uh, A quality work, The goal was always there. So like Paul, can't we acknowledge that we're not there yet, but still continue to strive? And and in that striving, can't we grow? With that C paper that I did in in an improvement from a D, I was able to see where I improved and, and where I still needed to grow. I think God's love, well, Actually, God's expectation of our love works the same way. God sees where we are growing and encourages us to continue in that growth, but also to continue to grow in other areas where we need to to be strengthened. But God's love never leaves us. I got the D, and I was still in the class. God invites us to continue to strive toward that perfect love. That is the goal. Perfect love is the goal. Will we reach it? 
I don't know. And I don't know that that's really the point. Will we strive to reach it? Therein lies the point. Amen.